guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Runa and today is Brown Girl Foundation Friday. I'm gonna start calling this Brown Girl Foundation Friday because that's really what I'm always on the hunt for is some brown girl friendly foundation. If you're new to my channel, every Friday I upload a foundation that's brown girl friendly. Even though I celebrate all hues, your girl celebrates all hues, but I'm a brown girl so it only makes sense for me to do brown girl foundation. So today's foundation, Discovery. A lot of you guys requested this video. Y'all just wanted to know what was up with this foundation. So I had to drop the tea for you guys because y'all wanted to know about the new Juvia's Place foundation. If you're loving the Brown Girl Foundation Friday, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the little like button, turn on the notifications so I can continue to make more of these Brown Girl Foundation Fridays for you guys and bring you the tea every Friday. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about this foundation. So I'm gonna go right away and say that this foundation is $20. Okay, when you go into Ulta, Juvia's Place is mostly sold in the affordable makeup area. I can't even call Ulta Beauty's um, area drugstore because I feel like it's more affordable. So there's drugstore mixed with affordable because then there's Morphe and then there's Juvia's Place there, there's BH Cosmetics in there. So it's more of affordable, but this foundation I don't think it's affordable. It's $20. $20 and it's really, really small. And it um, and I'm not here for the packaging either. I didn't like the packaging um, coming in a tube like this. I tend to not like, I, 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 I prefer a pump. I prefer a pump. Sue me guys, sue me. I love the name of it. I am magic, which is so cute because I mean, foundation can be magical for many people. Foundation is definitely magical for me. I am a foundation hoarder and I love foundation. So I love the whole magic vibe to the theme of the foundation. And I love Juvia Place's theme in general. They're very brown girl friendly. So we're just gonna go in to Ulta.com and we're gonna explore this foundation real quick with you guys. So this foundation color has 42 options, which is super amazing. They start with the darkest color and they go all the way to the lightest color. So the darkest color that they have is Sudan and that is a the deepest darkest skin with a cool undertone, which is pretty cool. And then they have a 740 Marisol for very, very light skin with neutral undertones. So my first impressions of the color selection, I think it's amazing. I love 42 colors. I love that they didn't go overboard and they didn't go under. They just basically did their best to include all hues in their foundation collection. Selecting your color, I found it really confusing. I know I really appreciate the, um, the message that they're giving out with what their foundation is for by starting with the darkest color first and the lightest color last and it was like very very um like it was a really strong message so I really really love that but for me I got confused I was like wait a hundred like because I'm so used to being in the 400s and being in the 300s so I was like wait what am I again and and as you can you know like we all know I have problems with selecting foundation colors anyways I'm still learning we're all still learning so that it's really hard to get medium skin tone and even dark skin tone right it's a hard thing to do um sometimes it's too orange sometimes it's too yellow sometimes it's too so many things and gray when your foundation's gray it's just an ultimate fail like if medium skin tone foundation is gray you have failed at whatever you were doing okay so the confusion was i went and had and picked up ethiopia and it's tan skin it's for tan skin with neutral warm undertints undertones and I think I'm a tan skin girl but you guys will see when I try it on what happened there like there was some problems with Ethiopia so I will tell you guys right now Ethiopia is not my color. Juvia Place's I Am Magic foundation is being advertised as a soft matte foundation and when I hear soft matte it always makes me really really nervous because I feel like when it comes to soft matte foundations it's like it could be a hit or miss. It could be matte and beautiful and flawless, or it could be like sliding off your face like crazy. So we don't know. I don't know how this is going to perform. And according to the internet, the I Am Magic Foundation is suitable for all skin types, suitable for dry skin combination, and even oily. It's going to be great with covering your blemishes, and it's really good at supposedly working on your texture and keeping your texture looking really flawless. I really like that the foundation talks about texture because texture is super important for me, especially since I have dry skin and I always am really concerned about having texture on my skin. Like I can't handle the texture, okay? 
Okay guys, now that you know all the details on the foundation, let's go and try it on. So I gave you guys the specs on this foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and use a kabuki brush on half side of my face and then I'll use a beauty blender on the other side of my face. Even though I prefer to do brush first then beauty blender, but for this purpose, I will give you guys the half and half face. So as you can see, this is the shade Ethiopia, Ethiopia. And I went on to Juvia's place and did their little shade match thing that they had. Um, so let's see. Okay. Ethiopia is definitely too dark for me. Right now, this foundation is going on really nice. A little goes a long way, you guys. Like, look at that. I'm going to put even less on the other side. But this color is a little dark on me. Even though I did use their shade matcher on their website, still didn't really work out. Like, didn't really give me the accurate shade. I mean, but it's not bad. I was still able to blend it. That's what I'm liking about this. It's super blendable, but a very little goes a long way. Definitely, definitely not going to need bronzer today. So far, guys, this looks really good. It's not as full coverage as other foundations that I've tried, but I am expecting a little bit more coverage. I mean, for a $20 foundation, I feel like I can still see a lot of my skin and you can still see a lot of the darkness hyperpigmentation that I get over here in my chin area. For us, you always get a heavier coverage, which I find really um, odd that I didn't get the same thing. So I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender. I'm gonna go in with quite less. She says less, but then it's way too much. If you want to try out this foundation, I'll go back in to their color scheme and I'll give you recommendations for an NC42. And this is not it. This is very dark. Okay, with a beauty blender, it goes on much better. This is definitely a beauty blender foundation. This is super dark on me, but I'm going to keep on going because i just rather just tell you guys how this formula works. And it does look really dark on me, but we will work it out. Uh, it's a little oxidizing. It has like a very orange, a very orange. Go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. I'm going to come back and tell you guys how concealer applies to it, how blushes applies to it, how it dries down. So I'll be right back. I went ahead and put on a Fenty concealer. This is my favorite concealer right now. And this blended out beautifully on the foundation. I didn't have any like foundation and, and concealer like issues happening. Blended out seamlessly. This actually saved my orange face because this foundation was looking really orange on my face. And then I also went in. I went ahead and put on the Dolly Mix foundation on my face. I do find that the Juvia's Place Magic Foundation does dry down really, really slow. And I was having some other issues with it. So I felt like my blush did go on a little skippy. So I had to dab on my brush. And by blush, anyways, you should always dab on blush. You should never like streak it on. It just messes with your, you know, your methods. For my eyes, you guys, I have Menta Cosmetics Every Day Eyeshadow Palette on. I literally just only use this color on my whole eye. Winged it out, put on some lashes, and called it a day. I put on these Remy lashes from Ardell. I think they're super pretty. So now I'm just going to go ahead and wear this foundation for the rest of the day. Do some check-ins with you guys. Take a selfie with it. See if it's selfie approved. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys this foundation in natural light as you can tell it didn't really oxidize on camera it looked fairly orange super orange um but in person it doesn't look that orange babe does it look orange anymore my face so it looks orangey yeah see like it just like calmed down and the color just blended into my skin really well but i still don't this is my exact color i definitely would not <laughs> get this color if you're NC42 do not get Ethiopia I will link down below what color looks good I'll also link down below um like what other recommendations will be good for like NC40 or just give you guys some color recommendations so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys also how this looks I take a selfie foundation does it perform well for selfies and here's the picture right here also it's 523 right there and I've had on this foundation for about I've had this foundation on for about three hours and as you can see it doesn't look super bad it looks really good i had to put a setting powder on this there's no way you can wear this 
foundation without a setting powder. I went ahead and put on the Laura Mercier setting powder because when I had this on for the first 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it started to like literally slip off my skin. It started to separate. So if you wear this foundation with a setting powder, you will have much more luck of it staying in place. Um, but you can already kind of see it does kind of start to like, you know, separate in certain areas. It's definitely not the foundation on camera. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I can see it in a mirror that it has little patches and little separations already. If you can see over here, it's like there's like a lot of separation in that area. It's like practically I don't have foundation anymore. This foundation feels very heavy and it feels very um, oily on my skin and I have really dry skin. So it's a little interesting. So we're at like the three hour mark and then I'm gonna try it on for the rest of the video a little bit more and check back in with you guys and see how this goes. A little quick check in. It's like almost seven, but I wanted to, I mean, for seven, don't, excuse my facial hair. I really hate that this is like really separated right there. It's not bad, but um, my face feels a bit dry. So I'm gonna just spray myself with some Makeup Revolution CBD refresher. I love how this stuff smells, by the way, you guys. It smells so good. And I'm here just filming. So I wanted to like, you know, get some energy in. Now it is about midnight so i've had this foundation on for almost all freaking day so the foundation isn't bad don't mind me i was testing out a product um the foundation isn't bad i say that it's pretty okay for 20 dollars though it's not performing i mean there's just better foundations out there i know this is this is like I know I really wanted to love it because I love a Juvia, Juvia Place products, but I don't love this foundation. At the end of the day, look at how much separation has happened. It's almost like I don't even have any more foundation. Like look at my nose, like literally separation everywhere. Separation over here. Um, my makeup looks really sloppy. And if you see like, it's almost like, it's just like either it, was eaten away by my skin or it just started to like fade away I don't know what happened to this foundation you know it didn't perform good all throughout the day it wasn't like super stunning foundation or anything like that um there are much more cheaper foundations on the market that perform much more better than this foundation does I'm so sorry to say you guys so I'm gonna say that this foundation didn't work out for me I'm gonna give the Juvia's Place Magic Foundation a three. So out of three out of five, um, mostly because it didn't last long. The shade came out pretty orange. Um, even if Ethiopia wasn't my color, it was still a very tan orange tone. So the undertones was very orange, even though it was a neutral, it was still very, very warm. Um, and just the lasting power. So I think they need to either reformulate this foundation or try another but this foundation um yeah thank you so much for sticking to my foundation reviews every friday tons of new foundation reviews are coming up in the next couple of weeks stay tuned for those don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below turn on the notifications comment any foundations you guys are ready to see so go ahead and um down below i'll see you guys in the next video i love you guys so much Mwah. Bye!